Hello instructors, in this video I'll quickly demonstrate the updated way of obtaining a new course site in Isaac Brock's Sakai-based LMS. Uh, from my workspace, after logging into Sakai, uh, I click upon the Site Setup option, and then the new option in the upper left. A course site is a standard course site uh, into which students will be automatically loaded based on uh, the official enrollment records established by the registrar. I establish the academic term. And options for courses uh, for which I'm the instructor of record will appear automatically on this page which follows. Uh, and I'm here provided the option of establishing what enrollment groups I would like within the site. Uh, the distinction here being uh, all students enrolled in 2P01 uh, included within one large group or perhaps subdivided into their associated seminar groups as well. In this scenario I don't believe I'll need that subdivision so I'll leave it just at the singular section. Click continue. Uh, optionally choose um, a custom title for the site. Uh, I'll leave the default title as it is or establish a description as well. Note that this is something that can be modified after the site has been published. And as well, I'm provided an option to choose which tools will be enabled within the site by default. Uh, I will still have this option um, to modify which tools are active after gaining access to the site. So I do think I'll use the announcements tool. Uh, and finally, there is an option to import from previous sites, uh, for which I am the instructor. Uh, at the moment, I don't intend to do so, uh, but if I did want to, uh, I would click the Yes option, and then choose which site uh, from which I'd like to do the import. And then, as a final option, I determine if the site ought to be published immediately, or if uh, it should be left as a draft. Uh, typically, you would want to leave it as a draft if uh, you intend to do a little bit more work before your students begin to see uh, the content of the site. And finally, continue with the confirmation page and then the creation of the site itself. So after the site has been made, you should see it uh, near the top of the list. Uh, this, this list here is actually a full listing of all the courses that you have access to um, within Sakai and then clicking upon the site should bring you there. Uh, so hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, if you have any questions about this uh, process of gaining access to new course sites, uh, please contact the Center for Pedagogical Innovation at edtech at brocky.ca, that's E-D-T-E-C-H at brocky.ca, or at extension 4734. Thanks for watching.